I'm Dr. Joe Cleaver. Um, I'm a board certified internist. I'm also board certified and uh, I'm a fellow of the American Academy of Anti-Aging and Regenerative Medicine. Uh, and I'm also a rheumatologist. I actually, I was educated in the Mediterranean, the University of Rome School of Medicine. And I'm very fortunate to have that education because I uh, have developed an integrative medicine practice. Um, and that's really where the seeds of integrative medicine started, at least in my career. I did my residency uh, under the Robert Wood Johnson School of Medicine umbrella in New Jersey, and then finished my fellowship at the Jackson Memorial Hospital at the University of Miami. I was also fortunate when I moved to Dallas to uh, start as an assistant clinical professor at UT Southwestern in the rheumatology division. Ended up, actually on a personal note, I was uh, training at, at, in martial arts at the time and uh, was a patient at Cooper Clinic. And after uh, my full day of evaluation at Cooper Clinic, the physician there said, you should be working here. And they hired me on and I came on staff at Cooper Clinic about 14 years ago. And it was a perfect match because I was able to utilize all the knowledge and experience that I brought home from a European medical training and school and mesh that with Cooper Clinic, which is one of the premier preventive clinics in, in the country. When I left Cooper Institute, I opened up my practice in Dallas and that was about six years ago, and opened up three offices in a practice in the Bay Area in San Francisco, California. So I have an office in Napa Valley, one in San Francisco, and one in Santa Rosa. What I practice is and preach is fundamental lifestyle preventive medicine. That falls really under regenerative medicine. And regenerative medicine is a, um, it's, it's a discipline that um, harnesses the body's ability to heal itself, heal the cells of injury, and heal aging cells. And if we look at what regenerative medicine is focusing on right now, we start hearing a lot about stem cells. Stem cells are, uh, there's a heated debate whether, you know, how well they work. There's a lot of research going on. Not quite sure that's ready. Stem cells are ready for prime time, but uh, the the fact of the matter is lifestyle medicine, when you look at why we're healthier and don't get disease uh, or we prevent disease and we slow the aging process because the decisions we make on a daily basis, what we put in our mouth, uh, if we eat a high inflammatory food, a lot of processed food, we create a lot of oxidative stress. I don't even have to describe or, de or define what oxidative stress is anymore, it's wonderful. But we know now that oxidative stress blocks or blunts our ability of stem cells to heal our bodies. We're practicing regenerative medicine as lifestyle medicine physicians. I speak internationally on uh, hormone balancing, exercise longevity, preventive aging, and uh, this year uh, my itinerary will take me to Bangkok. I'll be in Bangkok in September. Uh, it's Bangkok A4M, which is American Academy of Anti-Aging and Regenerative Medicine. I'll be speaking on sports medicine, and that's actually part of my practice also. I treat a lot of athletes. Regenerative medicine reaches out to a lot of different um, areas of uh, medical needs for our patients. Someone from Italian descent, I grew up around a lot of Italians, and a lot of my uncles were winemakers. And in the Italian culture, wine is a food. It's, uh, it's something that is part of um, the family, part of food, part of dinner, and I was given wine at a very young age and I started making wine at a very young age. Maybe that was in my blood, but certainly have a passion for wine making, cooking and, and food. And I think that was a lot of the inspiration to move out to California, uh, you know, at least part time and create a property with a vineyard. And now we have a winery and a wine label. The property was designed to be able to interact with patients uh, in, in a wellness retreat. And we've developed that over the last few years and we're going to launch um, this year. And the wellness retreat integrates medicine and wellness in wine country. And it, it's really a wonderful concept because our patients that uh, will be fortunate enough to come through the wellness retreat, it's very small, very personalized, a maximum of six people. Standards in regenerative medicine are in development. Yes, we certainly need standards, and I feel that a large part of my responsibility with the amount of experience I've had over the years in regenerative medicine uh, is to um, make sure that patient is educated and understand that um, 
You want to be certain you go to a qualified physician who has a lot of experience in regenerative medicine, and that's what we're able to provide to our patients.